Guys, we get this question at least twice a week. I have a trailer between seven and 9,000 pounds. Is my half-ton truck good enough to tow it or do I need a heavy-duty truck? And we're gonna answer this question today. Because we have the big daddy F-250 and his little brother, the 150. Both are V8s. Yes, and we're taking them on our MPG towing loop with 9,000 pounds. So we're loading them a little bit heavier and you'll find out exactly how they perform on the highway today. In general terms, you always want to buy a truck that's more than what you need. And indeed, it's the case here with the F-250. It's a big, heavy truck. It's got a pretty long wheelbase. Well, let's measure squat on the suspension before we hook it up. So right here, it sits at about 44 inches. And I measured it on both sides. It's 44 on both sides. Let's see, once we put that 900 pound tongue weight on, what's gonna happen? There is an adapter. Okay, so we have an adapter for our two inch receiver and our shank. Do you have the shank? I have the shank. And as always, we're using our heavy duty Gen Y hitches. Son of a gun. Kent, are you okay? Yeah. I thought you loved those pins. I do, but I didn't have it all the way through. <sighs> Kenta, I thought you loved the quick connects. I do, I do. Oh, you want to put it on? Okay. Do well, you hold something. You, you kind of need three hands. Let's see if we can put the pin through both and then pull it out. So tell me when. Okay, I'll pull it out just a little more. Uh, okay, okay, a little now. more. A little more. A little more. Okay. okay. Oh, did I get too okay. far? No, you're fine. Oh. You go a little further. Let me see. We just didn't get that one. There we go. We're good. Today for this special comparison we're using a 9,000 pound trailer because it's kind of a crossover weight. When you get that heavy of a trailer you start wondering can my half ton do it or do I need a heavy duty truck? Also 9,000 pounds is the maximum towing rating on this 5 liter F-150 so we'll see how these two trucks perform. Let's go look at the trailer. This is a North Star Cimarron from Trans West. It's a three horse aluminum slant load horse trailer and it's aluminum skin and it's got some steel underneath it's really similar to the trucks we're using today two water totes full of water and that's how we get to that 9,000 pounds it's nice using water totes we don't do that floor mat thing you know we throw the mats in there anyway this is a great test trailer this is the front dressing room tack room you can put your saddle rack back here get dressed out of the rain the horse manure can't come through the wall it goes all the way through and you can get this trailer at Transwest Truck Trailer RV. Use the link below to click there. Now this truck, we've got it loaded properly so it's 900 pound tongue weight. We've got a weight distributing hitch on it. So we are balanced, we are loaded properly, we are ready to roll. Okay, so I drove the truck back and forth to settle the suspension a little bit. Over here it's 42 and a half. So that means an inch and a half of squat from this heavy duty truck. Barely noticeable though, it still feels like a really tall truck. Diesel gets on your hands, you'll smell it three days from now. It's not like gas where it evaporates, it's gone. Diesel stays with you. Okay, 30 seconds. We haven't measured def diesel exhaust fluid uh, usage before. Basically, it has to do with emissions, right? That's true, that's what it's all about. It goes through that particular filter. And I'm not sure if we are gonna have a measurable amount. Uh, we are on the load. <laughs> So it, it, says, it says to hold to hold the handle. Yeah. We're gonna top off the death fluid. We already got the diesel in there. Let's go. We're ready for action. Okay, here Just we go. A little squeeze. Oh, that was a little squeeze. That's All right, that's it. Topped off. Okay. Okay, we're gonna reset the trip meter back to zeros. Times the zeros. Uh, 
I've never heard of this big, mean F-250. It's an engine that's very popular in a heavy duty truck. It's the diesel, the turbo diesel, the 6.7 liter power stroke in this case. Well, that turbo. Yes, people do love diesels for towing. And you know, we talk about that in our book and other things, that if you tow a lot, you know, if you do long, a lot of miles, the diesel makes a lot of sense. And it's powerful. I yep. mean, it flies up and down the hills. And the rating on this diesel is 450 horsepower and 935 pound-feet of torque. Yes, yeah, made it to a six-speed. A gigantic heavy-duty six-speed. This year. Yes, this year for 2019. All right, we just hit the highway in the F-250. Yes, and I have the cruise control at 70 miles an hour. So uh, today we're running our uh, abbreviated loop, shorter loop, with 66 miles, still 70 miles an hour, still the same truck stop, and we'll find out how these two trucks compare. These are the two points or three points I want to get across. First of all, how's the visibility from this truck overall? Ride quality and kind of how does it handle the trailer? Okay, I thought this was about fuel mileage. Well, a few mileages at the end. Oh, okay. These trucks, <laughs> other than size, they have a lot of similarities. I mean, they both have the FX4 package, they both have the Sport Appearance package, which is all the monochromatic coloring on the bumpers and the grills, and they've got towing mirrors, and they have crew caps. But, you know, these are both Lariat packages. This one here is about $75,000. The Lariat and the 150 is about $65,000. The way these trucks sit, this F-250 is rated at 2,052 pounds of payload with the diesel engine and every other option it has and 15,000 pounds of maximum towing capability. The payload rating on the F-150 is actually really good for a half ton. 1,679 pounds and the tow rating of course on this truck with a 331 rear end is 9,000 pounds. And the visibility is very good. That's the cool thing about Fords. They made this little cut out of the, out of the, uh, the window like the big semis have. They don't have that for mirrors and they did that back in 1999, which was cool. Yeah, I mean, it, I think visibility is fantastic out of it. So how's the ride quality? I mean, this is a heavy duty truck. It's meant for a little bit higher payload, right? Right. Ford's improved ride, and this is not air ride, it's none of that fancy stuff. It's just typical leaf springs. And, you know, I think it's doing well. I mean, this is a short bit for the size of the truck. It's six and a half feet long. Yeah. So, you don't have, you know, the long bed helping you with the ride. So, a couple of things I'm noticing here. First of all, I feel like I'm sitting way taller, you know, than a half-ton truck. Yeah. Which is good. The truck ride is solid. You know, do you feel any uh, sway or anything? No, I don't. I, I'm okay. glad we did a little adjustment on the way this should be yeah. I think it's fine. Finally, let's do the sound check. Let's see at 70 miles an hour with the trailer, with the mirrors extended, everything. Right. Let's see what the sound level in the cab is. Sixty-three point eight. Wow, that's which good. is quiet. It's very good. A anything below. Anything below 70 decibels is really quiet. I mean, we're talking about the 84 decibels, 85 decibels right now. Yeah. So that's remarkable in the heavy duty truck. You might be thinking that the heavy duty truck like this F-250 has a cap that's drastically different from a light duty half ton truck like the F-150, but it's not the case. In fact, the F-150 and the Super Duty F-250 trucks share the same aluminum cap. That means the same space, same interior volume as far as legroom and hip room and everything else is concerned. Yes, some of the electronics are a little bit different, but you still get the same technology, almost the same technology. Check it out. First of all, you have all of the camera views. You could zoom in on your trailer hitch here. Towing is very important for a heavy duty truck. So there's several different views you could choose from. If there's even a camera in the bed to see the cargo or your gooseneck trailer. I'm here in the F-150 now. The F-150 is able to have this, the Trailer Pro Backup Assist, which is uh, currently only available on the half ton for 2019, but for 2020, the Super Duty is actually getting this, but we'll talk about that later. Also, the way you change 
the camera modes is a little bit different in the F-150. Let me put it in reverse. It's just the interface is a little bit different when you compare it to the Super Duty truck. There's also no camera to see the cargo in the bed. So we're climbing a little hill, but it's still in six. Yes, Ford loves overdrive. Their trucks stay in overdrive majority of the time. This diesel doesn't really feel this trailer. No, it doesn't. We're on a rough part of the road too. And it's, you know, it's, we feel the bounce, but it's not, uh, you know, doing any side to side motion at all. No Elvis pelvis? No Elvis pelvis. No, it feels good. According to the truck's computer, we got 9.3 average miles per gallon. We need to find out exactly how much fuel you used and also depth. Look how big my nozzle is. That's a high pressure pump. That's a big nozzle. All right, let's do okay. it. Okay. I wonder if we're gonna use any depth or is it gonna be measurable? I will, I doubt if we use a pint. I don't think we can, <laughs> probably a cup, teaspoon. <laughs> We'll have to do this again with big dualies, right? And see how they work. Oh, it clicked. All right, 30 seconds. Yo, ho, ho, and here we go. Click. 7.353. Eight point nine. Basically nine miles per gallon. Well, and the, and the computer said 9.3. So that's close. Okay. That's close, but it's less than what I expected, but yeah, well, it is a different day. Yeah, it is, it is, but I mean, it's a nicer day. Yeah, so let's try the def now. Okay. Did it click off? Uh, yes. Okay. All right, so let's calculate the DEF, diesel glass fluid usage. So we went 66 miles with a trailer and we used 0.162 of a gallon, a little bit of diff. So in theory, on a gallon of DF fluid, towing a trailer like this, we could go about 407 miles. Yeah, but that's towing, right? When yeah. you're empty, you're using a lot less of it. You don't take a big truck like this and not tow with it. It's all about trailers, dude. Okay, let's go. But we can go a few thousand miles on a tank of diff. Check this out, this is where the F-250 hitch was positioned, but now on this F-150 it's too low. So we gotta move it up. And if my experience tells me, we actually have to go all the way up. Because I've towed with this truck before with this trailer, and I know with how much it squats, I probably have to be in the top position. So let's see how this works and how much it squats. Okay, before we hook up the F-150, let's measure the height here to the fender as well. 40 inches unloaded. All right, so I drove back and forth just a little bit to settle the suspension. Without the weight distribution right now, let's measure. We were at 40 inches without the trailer. Now we're at 37 and a half. So that's two and a half inches. So that's about an inch more squat than in the Super Duty. And you can kind of tell that this truck is now squatting, whereas Super Duty kind of didn't look like it cared. Both of these trucks have towing packages with towing mirrors, which is excellent. But the way you operate the mirror is actually different. Here in the F-150, there is one button, and then you have to push the arrows to move the mirror in and out, extend it, bring it back in and also fold it back and forth. Aha, but in the F-250 there are two different buttons to control the mirror. One to fold it and a separate switch to extend it and bring it in. Yep. So we're, we're gonna be using 87 octane, manufacturer recommended. 
And before we leave, same fill up procedure. You gotta fill, shove that in there, huh? Fill it up, wait 30 seconds, top off. That's a beautiful watch. That's a beautiful watch, thank you. Ow. Oh wow, that was a quick one. All right, let's get on the road. Okay. Reset. Zero, oh zero, yes. Zero. Rawhide. Rawhide. Hey, we forgot death fluid. Oh shoot. <laughs> no, this is. We're a, at the wrong island to get death fluid. This is a gas truck. Come on, let's go. Okay. This F-150 has a V8 under the hood, the five liter, and I think it represents kind of a more basic common truck. I know the EcoBoost are very popular, but this is the good old V8. Oh, it's that wonderful sound. Look, we got a V8 diesel, we got a V8 gas. This is so awesome, but yeah, the, the, this is a very popular engine. I'm so glad that they keep it. Even though they love their V6s at Ford and those twin turbos, people love the Coyote engine. Absolutely, and it's a good towing truck also. 395 horsepower, 400 pounds feet of torque in this puppy. Yeah. So it's still a very powerful engine. Yeah. And 10 speed automatic. We're on the highway in the half done. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're in fifth. We're climbing up that ladder. Let's see if we can use all 10 gears. Wait, uh, fifth gear? Yes, it's 10 We have a 10 while. gears total. I know, we do. And I love it. We'll see if that closeness of those gears, the lower RPM of those gears, Will help our fuel mileage. I think it will, but I don't know. Have you done a fuel mileage loop in this yet? Yes, I have. I'm not gonna tell you. Okay. Because we actually, I haven't actually done this heavy of a trailer on an MPG loop before. Well, there you go. So, a couple things. Um, the ride I feel is more comfortable than the F250. Even though F250 is good, yeah. I think this is a little bit softer and better. I would say slightly, because you know this has got probably one less leaf. It's a little better uh, a leaf for a ride. Yeah. This is the same section where we measured our um, sound level. Okay. So let's just try that now. 65. So I have the most important question now. Okay. Is yes, there... I'm not married. Oh, go oh ahead. I'm go sorry. Ahead. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Does the trailer swaying? I don't feel it. Um, the ride looks controlled. I feel a little more, I know we adjusted it with the bars on the weight distributing hitch for this trailer, for this height, mm -hmm. and it's not bad. I can feel it, but it's in the steering wheel. It's not where the, the trailer is moving enough for me to to feel more there, but I do feel a little bit in the steering wheel. And in this truck, I'm feeling more like an SUV. You know, I feel like I'm not that high off the ground. Yeah. In the F-250, you get that feeling that you're actually in the trucky truck, you know, you're it's, actually you're up tall. there. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And that's, uh, I think it's a safety thing. You get those taller trucks. I mean, I, I don't want them so tall they're paying the butt to hook up to a trailer, but or get in and out of. Yeah, I think a, a taller truck could be safer because people can see you. To the seat height, let's measure that. See how it compares in the Super Duty F250. The seat bottom, the bottom cushion is about 41 inches. If you look at here, let's measure the seat height on the F150 now. It's about 35 inches versus 41 on the F250. That's huge. That's about six inches difference is where kind of you're sitting and your perspective on the road. Of course, the F250 is a much heavier and bigger vehicle. Curb weight on this truck is about 8,000 pounds. The curb weight on that V8 F150 is around 5,300 pounds. That's a huge difference. Of course, here, the F250 has a heavier frame. It's got solid axles, front and rear bigger brakes, bigger calipers, and of course, an option to manually engage your front hubs for four-wheel drive. Of course, you can leave them alone for an automatic mode as well. All right, well, let's get uh, to the midpoint and to the back, back to the fuel pump, same loop, same day, and get the result. Right, I mean, it's a beautiful day. It's not really windy or anything. No. We have no, no, no excuses today. I'm really surprised, 8.8, .8, that's very close to what that Super Duty was, but we'll see how the electronics are, how close the real numbers are compared to the computer on the truck. Same fuel, 87. Let's get this. Ooh. Okay. okay, we need 30 seconds to top off. 30 seconds. 
7.8 gallons, that sounds like a familiar number. 7.829. 8.4. I'm a little bit surprised because I expected the half ton truck with a gas engine, V8, to be a lot less efficient towing a load than it was. Yeah, and that's, that's kind of where it is. A 9,000 pound trailer makes the half ton look pretty good. I mean, you can't spend an extra 10 grand on a, on a diesel truck for what, a half yeah. mile to the gallon or less than a mile to the gallon? Right. It just doesn't pay off. So no, daily driver towing these kind of trailers, 10,000 pounds occasionally, you don't need a diesel. Yes, but if you're carrying a giant fifth wheel trailer, a gooseneck trailer, you gotta step up to a super duty, heavy duty truck and a diesel, that makes more sense. Yes, and if you put a lot of miles on a truck, all that's part of the equation to make that decision. Well, I'm pre I think it's a pretty, pretty clear cut answer. Yes. And go back to tfltruck.com for my news views and real world reviews and where else? MrTruck.com. Oh, thanks. <laughs>